Hello and welcome back to Imperator Rome, where we did a little bit of a rollback, I have to admit. Um, the dark pile that happened was bad. Um, I kind of tried to do something about it, but they had about uh, eight times the amount of troops that I had, which was not really winnable. And the AI is relentless in just taking everything you have, which was fun. So I decided to roll back. Um, so there's two things we can do. Because what happened is that we shrunk our army too small due to the lack of well, a lot of things, actually. I still hate that I'm paying for your troops, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so we shrunk too small due to the, uh, due to our centralization raising too high. Um, so with that said, we need to figure out something. And we are gonna need to do either one or the other. Either is reform early. So keep pumping centralization, but actually shrink a little bit. That means we're going to hand in a single province, so we are no longer uh, too big to... Um, so we can, we can shrink down to more local populace, then reform ourselves into a republic, because I still want to go for a republic, because I don't have that achievement yet, um, and work our way up from there. That's one. Or we expand like a madman, but... That's actually slightly. Bit, it has become. Uh, yeah. It's starting to become a little bit more difficult uh, with some of the later patches that they've done. Seems aggressive expansion has a little bit more hefty impact than I'm used to. So I think what we're gonna do is shrink down a little bit. So I, let me check. We have like a like a single province that is like, like a terrible one and we sell it off that means we drop to 24 we're currently at 25 so we'll drop down to 24 um uh, which uh takes us out of oh we need to make two cities then and that takes us out of uh local power and gives us a, a bit of an advantage on that road to basically make that the best for us let's just um move some of these citizens out And we're gonna sell you. Uh, let's see. You might not like me though, just regressive expansion, but. Um, so, uh, let's see. Access. No, what is it again? Sell city, yeah. We'll sell you this city. You'll probably not wanna pay for it. Oh, you actually do wanna pay for it. So, I'll take some money at least whatever i can get i will sell this one as well to them um however i might can i just be a bit of a dick and sell him this province he won't pay for it because reasons okay right so that means we've just dropped down in size we're now at 23 so we're no longer a regional power <laughs> was what we were planning on doing so yeah this we can now have alliances again with other nations which is actually still the state that i wanted to go in now this means we still don't really have any our guarantees turned into uh, alliances again so that's good now however i need to figure out um is there an opinion map mode yes there is nobody genuinely likes me right now that's probably because of the aggressive expansion that i've been doing um, so let's change our stance to a appeasing stance, which makes people a little bit more friendly when they're neighboring us and lowers that aggressive expansion. So that's, it is something I'm going to attempt to do. And hopefully with that, uh, we can do a little bit of work. There were no longer importing horses because I think we lost the trade route due to our shrinking. That's okay. So I'm still losing large amounts of cash. So there is some of that. That we need to solve now if i would go to war i would start making tributary states um but for now i think we just st should stick with what we have and work with that um yes just i'll take the religious power um also to use it to increase our stability which should you know gives us more tax which should you know be also pretty good 
And I really need to figure out what I can skimp on. Well, first things first, I can get rid of a fort, which takes away one duck in a month. So when we no longer have any fort maintenance, uh, I might need to lower my wages. Yeah, so that works. Uh, I still have a bit of a deficit, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, I have another fort here that I can lower. So that would get me into a positive. In theory, that fort's gone, so... Was well, that my capital fort which word wasn't paying for for some reason? I didn't know the capital forts were free. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Doesn't solve my problem that I'm still going slowly broke. Hmm. So, so, I guess we don't have any slaves. Ah, I might move, convert some of my, uh, uh, my freemen into, uh, yeah. I don't have slaves, do I? No. I have tribesmen, which are fine. Um, let's see. I really wish these lines were more clear. Like, I, this is, uh, feels slightly more important. <laughs> Okay, so he managed to survive that. Oh, we got another trade route okay, available at our capital. We could go back on the horse road. Which is one of our internal routes, which is actually beneficial. And I think I wanna... Still, we need to get some alliances going. Um, let's see, most people just don't like me yet, but we're getting close. We can approve a couple of opinions. And work our way up from there. I still have how many slots? I've got one relation slot remaining. I'll lose the military power, that's fine. I, th I still think trying to centralize is a good idea. It's also that my retinues uh, went up one. I think that might be. Defensive leagues are always good. I think that might have been our relation limit there. See, yeah, we were at three. I thought we were at four. Tribal identity decrease. With a small defensive pact with this neighbor. Hmm. Can I invite you to a defensive league? It's already in a defensive league. Okay, well, at least we're trying to get there. Um. rather have the gold to be honest and I'm gonna go to research because I think it, that might be where our saving grace might be getting from uh, you broke your alliance that means that you in theory would be able to ally me if you weren't completely you will get too many relations you will accept however good good a call to arms from Tithia who are you fighting against a small nation and I'll accept I won't do the fighting but I'll accept the fact that you're at war and that we are sworn an alliance okay we're no longer trading horses from. how can we stop trading horses from our own regions it seems okay. oh no that just disappeared wow there's just literally nothing we can trade that's a little bit annoying right um yeah, we're missing a trade route now, which is mildly annoying. Um, I think I'm gonna spend some of my oratory power on promoting freemans to citizens. Just get as many of them as possible. Yes, this leads to unhappiness, but... It also increases our monetary income in the long run as well, so... Plus, I want to get this uh, research ratio improved. Yep. Uh, sure. 
Okay. Yeah, so... Promote a couple of freemen. Which is slightly more expensive. I don't know why is it so expensive to promote freemen. I think it's maybe because I'm not in that uh, civil state yet. Let's get some wine. Goron handed me money. Good. And we're teetering on the balance here in not having enough uh, money so this will add in tax and commerce income since if I would be smart I would stack in my citizens into my capital which is called okay integra okay so uh, okay that caused some issues okay well, let's just move this citizen to integra there we go we have an army which no longer has a commander, which we cannot afford to run, so we have to disband it immediately. We have to pay them very little money, luckily. Uh, our economy still says our balance is shit. Why is that? That's not exactly right, is it? Whoa, both of them died. That is terrible. So we just came into a deficit. That's bad. I lost my head research one of my researchers, so if I have to fix that, I've got a disloyal province right now. Which is because of what reason? I probably should move my citizens out of this province, so let's move you over to Right, you're of course disloyal, so that doesn't work. Um And I lack the points required to change that. Um I do have a little bit of... Okay, there's 350 I need. I thought I need 300. So a new tribal armory... armory new tribal armies will pop up. And there we go. Got more stable. And that works. Okay, so I need to get somehow this province to become loyal. Which is important. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, and you're gonna go on local autonomy, I guess. So we lose the marble trade route, so we lose a little bit of financial gain again, which is a little bit annoying, but... Uh, province's loyalty right now is a bigger issue, so why are you mostly... It might be just the amount of citizens that are in here that's causing the trouble. Unhappy Pops. Uh, you're mostly unhappy because of cultural issue. Alright, I want to take a look at the province right now. I have... You're decaying. <laughs> so if I can get Arbulake Hape... Hape? Hape? Um... Yeah, that's a bit annoying. I don't see that military presence is helping this at all. Local autonomy, civilization value. Civilization value is increasing here fast, but not fast enough. Hmm. This probably won't help me. Yes, I'll lower my tyranny, that's always great. Maybe by. Yeah, I don't know. Curious recovery. Good. Okay, we're making money again. Covers local troops. Ah, you are. It's gonna be annoying me, are you? One for honor should be enough. Yes. Dramatic but necessary. <laughs> okay. Um... There we go. What I could do, which is risky... Oh, did I just gain another army for some reason? Is that why I'm... No, this army is entirely paid by me. But it's loyal to Bana. That's weird. Why do I get an army that is... Considered not... Weird worth now. 
Oh, you're rev you got a revolve in your hands. Yeah, go for it. Uh, you know what? Let's be a nice guy and actually assist this. Because if I can keep this guy a bit, a bit on the strong side. Oh, well, that, that solved, I guess. That problem. Now, what I was trying to look into is giving this guy... Uh, so, instead of leading this, so we will unassign myself. Dismiss. And then we'll tell this to be a regional army. This will lower the... Uh, there you go. See? Governor's local troops. Lowers the problem. Should uh, mean we get more... Uh, what will give me local tax? Uh, I'd rather think I just grow my... Happiness or Freeman happiness? I don't care for either, really. Uh, what do I have in the capital? Nothing. Let's get the wood. This is still a nice surplus. Um, I cannot afford that, so that's a bit annoying. Wait, do I got people in? You're just okay. No, I don't think I do have double government positions. Uh, how would that work? So I. Tr I pull in one and I trade two away. I think that in, in, in theory should mean that I actually pull one more in than I trade away, but that's odd. Okay, so local autonomy is increasing. I probably could uh, put you on civilization effort, which gets rid of the... Nah, I think it's just rid of the tribesmen. tribesmen. Might want to put this one in civilization effort to start increasing it. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do that. So we lose the fish. All clans belong to us. Moving some of his people is natural. You're a army leader, so I want to stick with. No, both of you are, aren't you? Yeah. Crap. Your how much loyalty do you have? Sixty-four. Versus 57, but you're losing rapidly, and you're not as. Uh, so I want to keep Bana Galba happy. Wow, you lose a lot of loyalty. It doesn't really matter what I do. I would get more centralization, which is great, but I don't think that really helps me. So losing a little bit on Bana, it's... it's it's not what I want to do, but I kind of feel like I have to. Heavy infantry discipline. There we go. Supply limit seems useful. As well as siege ability. There we go. Uh, wait, you just dropped. Yeah, you did. Um, get back there. Am I, did I stop paying you that much? Oh, yeah, I did. I can't, can't afford it though. Crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm not making the uh, the best amount of money though. Um, precious metals here is pretty nice to be honest. Um, still, I'm gonna move all of these lads over to there. Eventually. So I'm just gonna see if I can find citizens and start moving them towards the capital city. So that's the of Incentria. Yeah, I'm flogged. Okay, um, move to Incentra. Because they should, in theory, make more money over there. I think it's not a... This is this is one of the min maxi I think I've ever played the game uh, before, so... By moving certain units into certain provinces and then building certain buildings there... Wow. That is the... Definition of min maxing. <laughs> My initial idea was basically to use uh, uh, one province for student province skill. Uh, so instead of what I'm doing now, um, student, yeah, just look at the entire province and select. Okay, this province got to be citizens and slaves. This province is got to be freemen, and so we built them. 
and then just uh, differentiate between them like profits for money profits for map or profits for money you just build buildings in a promise that would make the most sense i think but this works for now i guess uh plus we're trying to get those advances um i'm supposed to attack map mode you're at war again with who are you at war now You have a good alliance, so I'll accept it, but I won't join, because I really don't feel like it. Um, yes. Yes. Wow, I'm actually out of power? Cool. Um, we're definitely going to take all three of these. Um, aggressive expansion is a problem, so lowering it is, is good. Uh, monthly tyranny is a problem when you're a um, well, not a much of a problem, but it's, it's it is more of a thing when you're a, a republic. So I want to lower that as well, um, and just just this generates less aggressive expansion, so that solves that problem partially as well. So you know, this province will turn loyal when it's about thirty three, I believe. Cool national income and monthly wages go down. That's good, so we should start making a little bit more money. Hell yeah. Good. Uh, doesn't That doesn't mean I can afford this, do I? No, I'm still running a little bit low. I'll still decline all military uh, access. Can I move them directly to... No, I can't. Okay, so... What seems to be the problem here, gentlemen? You. Because you're not of my religion. And I'm a tribe. Fug. <laughs> uh, I can't afford that. But I can't afford the oratory power, so that's fine. I could assimilate this lot and just boost the. Oh, okay, we just got an overall drop in happiness. Um. Oh, that's the National Citizen Happiness. Okay, Alliance offer from Lucenia, but we already are limited, are we? Yeah, so I'm sorry, I have to decline that one. Um, did that mean I also got... No, I didn't get an army, okay. Ah, great, <laughs> you're becoming loyal, fuckers. It's just not what I want. This army was meant to prevent that shit from happening. Research points, 10%. Hell yes. I want all six of these, to be honest. And I do not change, generate that much civic power. But I've, I feel like I've got myself consolidated here pretty good as a, as a local power. I don't want to stay in that position until I can more safely start, you know, bashing my head against the wall again. Just growing larger for now. What am I importing in here? Salt... Which is what now? Local defenses and olives, which gives me slave happiness. Those both don't make much sense. Um, yeah, you're gonna lose that because I don't want to. I d definitely don't want to skip down on a on a. Uh, 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 not right now. So. There is a law I do believe I need uh, to look at decisions. I need increased council powers, yeah. Which does what? Right. That's uh, something that we'll eventually do, I guess. But I need also five civic advances. So yeah, we definitely need to get up on the tech level. I might off screen a little bit because of what needs to be done. Heck, I don't even know if we'll continue the series because it's not proving to be that popular and um, I think a lot of people are right now not really into the Imperator and I get that. I get that. It's it's just... <sighs> I'm playing some multiplayer with a couple of friends and we kind of agree that uh, Imperator in a lot of mechanical ways is just a step backwards and it's, it's, it's weird that they did not managed to uh improve upon like, like i don't i don't know man you you ha you have so many titles that do things so much better so how did you manage to 
muck this one up. Sorry, it's just... If I could afford it, if I could afford it... Oh, Son of a bitch. Yeah, no, we'll have a disloyal fucking priest, I guess. Ah, damn it. Are you one of the army leaders as well? You aren't, right? No, good. <sighs> Military tradition. But infantry defense, and I no longer have the civic power to move all of these pops away. Damn it. <laughs> I can't really move them directly into the place that I want to. I need to jump into over. It's fine. Um, I think I'll stick with the uh, governor policy. Uh, even though it lowers my population output quite significantly. You know what? No, we'll switch you out of here. We'll go for... Just, I guess, acquisition of wealth will do. We'll pick up civic tech investment for now. We'll do these two after. But we seem to be starting to get at a decent pace of... Um, tech acquisition. Let's uh, up some of these tribesmen. Nice. Uh, let's get some loyalty on this guy. Alright, how are we looking on technology now? Oh, I'm on 116. There we go. Now it's gonna go fast. Um, especially when we get this one back in. But that should get us to some more. So, yeah. We, uh, 128. Right, so, yeah. Didn't plan on doing this, but getting rid of the tribesmen is something we need to do anyway. We get rid of them in this province and change them into citizens. We get rid of them in this province and change them into freemen. Should work in the long run. Uh, do I want these now or later? Hmm. Yeah, actually, managed to get slaves. Oh wow, I can actually move those cheaply to the capital as well, where they will generate more money. Comparative. have many slaves can't really get uh, I don't really seem to keep getting them any way yet really so yeah, I might have grown them that's my made of how we got them all right we sure what do I produce here would it make more sense to move all my slaves to a term where it produces, you know, precious metals? Find a nation to conquer. Yeah, it's not really my thing. Not right now. I'll take the aggressive expansion impact. And I'll take the mouth of tyranny as well. I'll just do it right now. See, money is starting to uh, become better. Um, this one still has problems with loyalty. The others are just counteracting it barely. Yeah, no, I'll keep the gold for now. I'll take the tyranny. 
probably pick up military tradition. Uh, well, first take out siege engineers, because that's just, you know, faster sieges is great. Alright, where do you war with? Because if you're being dockpiled by everybody, no, it's just a minor war, we'll accept. Is this a civil war? Okay, oh well, everybody's happy we went to war, good. Seems that the armies are also shrinking. I don't know why these are red. Yeah, it's not being raised by clan leader apparently. I don't know exactly what why it goes that way, but all right. So that's lucky actually. <laughs> could, could join into somebody else's war. Yeah, let's see. Stop. Oh, uh, no way, but. Oh, these two are producing both gold. <laughs> so what is our max? 38. Okay, we want to siege apparently. Cool. Get the hell out of there. Oh, you're just loyal, so you just did it on your own. Well, uh, good for you. Uh, this is actually currently... Oh, monthly loyalty, yes. Loyalty. Change government policy cost. Oh, that just. Nope, that's still there. Let's pick that one up as well. Like I said, now we're going. Th we're going through it a little bit faster than I might have would have liked, but uh, well. Freeman happiness, slave happiness. What gets the? Oh yeah, it's precious metals. Dies. Each surplus from province mostly increases the loyalty, which is not what we're looking for, so that doesn't really matter. Slave output, leather, no, 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 no. I guess I'd rather have you to grow then. National, f oh, promotion cost goes down by if I put in livestock. I guess we'll put in livestock. <laughs> Makes it cheaper to promote these lots. So let's just. Stick with this. Uh, promote the Freeman. Still costs 14, so that doesn't make any sense. Uh, tribesman. And promote a few of these. Not too many, probably. There we go. Um, happiness is always an issue, so wrong culture happiness. Let's go up on that one. Next up, we'll pick up wrong culture group happiness, which is within uh, a different color group. The other one is within our color group. Uh, centralized committees is something that, that I do want. I think I'll leave this for now. Uh, this tax system, I've been thinking about it and I would love a combination between this and Solaris. I think that would be the ideal. I think that genuinely would be the ideal that this that instead of what it does now like spend some civic power to get a random technology or not even get a random technology just get a technology instead of that why don't you just add a system where you just you know these are the that it opens up more researches right because that will make sense like go through a randomized list of researches like this this bit I'm fine with this is completely fine this bit I pretty much fucking hate. I'll be honest. I think it's trash, and it should be in the trash. Okay, we, we... Okay, we, we, we... I don't know, man. It just seems like a waste of... of, of potential. Yes, change cover policy cost, but now another... Is that another of the first 20%? I might be confusing my games here, but this is just expensive, so... Rather have that change. So 34% because of positive centralization. Wait, you don't have a route? Let's get you a trade route. Uh, local citizen happiness, local freeman happiness. Let's get you some wine. Um, because this is a freeman province. Barracks here, um, other buildings there. Um, we cannot go past centralization, so I can. I prefer to. Yeah, lose the two. 
Because we'll grow that back fast enough anyway. Look at that. It's just, it, this will be back within in, in a couple of months. So that's not a problem. Currently, if I want to go to the correct level of... Uh, things. Alright. I uh, definitely need to get the version helmet. Discipline is key. I cannot let that go. That would be a pretty stupid decision if I do that. Uh, still want to get these two, but I doubt I can get both of them. Who's my Who's my follow up? You. Yeah, uh, you you'll probably die before me. You are sixty nine years old, and I am fifty two. Yeah, so I'm not not really have to worry about that. And I have one lunatic that's a barrack crap. Well, you know what? Let's find that idiot. It's a citizen right there. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's pick up the uh, helmet. What's that? Okay. Uh, I think I'm still on my line's limit. Am I not? Uh, no, I not. Okay, who who is this? Sure, that's one of my neighbors. I'm fine with that. How are we looking on loyalty? Pretty fine. Okay. Um, let's spend some of this. Uh, how much did I need for the law change? Can't do it anyway because I've got someone who is pretty pissed off. Um. We need Civic 5. Okay. Still not interested in that. Uh, with that, I'm actually going to end the episode. I want to thank us for watching and hopefully see you in the next one. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.